Hello Mahatma. How can I help you today? Doctor, thank you for meeting me. I have a question. My son recently told his mother, and I that he is gay. Is it possible that my son can change from loving the boys to loving girls? Can people change who they are sexually attracted to? Doctor? This is a much discussed question today. What I do as a medical doctor is look to research for answers. Yes, doctor. This is what I want. What is the medical research on this? Can people change their sexual orientation? First, Mahatma, you should understand exactly what is meant by change. There are three basic terms to understand. Sexual orientation is a person's involuntary natural attraction to a person of one sex or the other. Please understand that bisexual people are naturally oriented towards both men and women. In other words Mahatma when you meet a person, which side makes you hot down there? Yes, yes I understand doctor. Good, good. Then there is sexual behavior. Sexual behavior is like any other behavior. You can teach a dog to walk on two legs. But the dog will naturally want to walk on four legs. Yes, I understand, doctor. If a dog really wants to please his master, he can walk on two legs. He can fight the urge to naturally walk on four legs. He can learn this. He can change. The third concept to understand Mohatma is sexual orientation identity. What can happen Mohatma? Is that men fantasize sexually about other men? Or women fantasize sexually about other women? This is how they are on the inside. But how they identify themselves outside is called their sexual identity. Even though they may be attracted to people of their same sex they reject it. There are many proud gay men and women who embrace their sexual orientation and sexual behavior. Before we talk to the people who participated in the Jones Yarhouse study let's review. There is sexual orientation, sexual behavior, sexual identity. Okay doctor I will remember those three terms. Can you please take me to meet the people in the study? Sure. Mahatma sure. Let's go. Let's go meet the people in the Jones Yarhouse study. Thank you all for coming today. I count 98 people who want to be freed of same-sex attraction. I took a head count and I counted. Doctor, what do you mean by same-sex attraction? Are these people gay or what? Yes, thank you for the question. For some reason members of the faith community hate the word homosexual or gay or lesbian. They like to use the word same-sex attraction. I think they use the words, same-sex attraction, to diminish, what is really going on with people. One day you can have an attraction to roses. A week later you can have an attraction to tulips. The members of the faith community, use the words same-sex attractions, to diminish a person's sexual orientation. As an attraction is less concrete than who you are at your core level. I am a man of science. So I don't use the words same-sex attractions. I use the scientific words, orientation, behavior, and identity.